Hi, this is David Abanak Turtle with first in a series on operational risk modeling. And I start with an illustration of the loss distribution approach or LDA approach, which is the most popular for modeling operational risk. And it seeks to answer a simple question here, which is for a given event type, and by event type we mean an operational loss event like, for example, employee fraud, IT systems failure, maybe even something external like legal risk or natural disaster. For a given event, what are the total or aggregate losses we might expect over a given year? So now I'm going to use LDA to simulate that. And the key idea here is convolution, which is to say we're going to convolute or combine two different distributions. So maybe we've got some historical data and we're able to fit our distributions to the data. But if you think about it, it's intuitive that we divide this into two random variables because here on the left, we've got the question of how many or what is the frequency of our losses over the year. So that's a counting variable that's going to be characterized by a discrete distribution. I've picked here the most popular, I think, would be the Poisson distribution, and try to just illustrate here that it's going to be discrete. This one happens to have a mean of two, but these numbers have no context or meaning. So we've got here a distribution maybe based on fitting historical data that allows us to randomly characterize the number of losses over the year. And we can see it's going to cluster here around our mean, possibly go higher. Even a zero is an outcome. Now, just because we have a loss, that doesn't tell us what the severity of the loss is. So that's what we've got here on the right would be the severity distribution. This would be the severity of the loss conditional on the loss occurring. So if we have a loss, what's the severity? How much do we lose? That would be maybe in dollar terms, for example. And now that's not a counting variable, but a measuring variable. So we measure the severity of the loss with, with typically a continuous distribution. We have a lot of choices there. I've picked one, the log normal. Happens to have mean of zero, sigma, or standard deviation of one. Again, those numbers don't mean anything. But what that allows us to do is, if there's a distribution, it allows us to characterize the severity of the loss. And then convolution here, in a simulated way, is going to allow us to combine them and run a trial to give us um, a random outcome for the total loss during the year or over the year. And so I've got that this here in Excel such that I can hit F9, recalculate, and run my first trial. My first trial here, first it goes to the Poisson distribution and randomly, this is a per a method called inverse transform. I've actually got a separate video on the inverse transform method, but it pulls a random number and random numbers typically are from zero uh, in the interval zero to one. And it uses that to look up on the Poisson distribution and find a random outcome. And so here I got a result of two. And so two is the uh, randomly simulated number of losses during the year per this Poisson distribution. And you'll notice it happened to come, uh, happened to equal my mean. Shouldn't be too surprised there that I got a mean of my uh, random variable. So my first trial tells me I've got two losses during the year. And now here they are. For each of them, for each loss, we've got a severity conditional on the loss occurring. What did that do? That did the same thing here, but on the right side. For that first loss, it used the log normal to in randomly infer, through the same method actually, inverse transform, randomly infer the severity of the loss. And so this is 0.4. Maybe that's 0.4 dollars. Maybe it's 0.4 million. Doesn't matter for our purposes. Then that first severity loss is 0.4, and the second Severity loss, again, randomly uses the log normal to come up with that. So now we've got our two different losses. Each of the severities has been randomly simulated, and we just total them. That's the convolution really here. We've convoluted or tabulated the loss for this single trial. We could have several rows in Monte Carlo fashion to simulate several trials, but I'll just run another one here. And th this time I only got a frequency of one, and the severity of that loss 
happens to just be 0.1. So under that trial or simulation, I got a total loss for the year of 0.1. Run it again, I get two. And here I've got an example where um, the discrete random variable gave me three losses during the year with respective loss severities of 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0.1. And if that were to occur, then we would add them together and we get 1.1 for the aggregate loss for the year. And that's convolution. It's about the simplest example that I could develop to illustrate convolution, which is the essence of the LDA approach. There's a lot that goes into selecting what is this or fitting this distribution and this distribution. But you can see here at a higher superficial level, all we've done is characterize the frequency of losses with a discrete distribution and the severity of each loss with a continuous distribution and then combined or convoluted them in a, such the way that we can add them up together and give us here a simulated or trial run estimate as to the aggregate loss over the year. So hope that was helpful. This is David Harper. Thank you very much.